and welcome to the daily stock market update. Today is 8th November 2021. The DSEX continued its downtrend and lost 56 points or 0.82% today, settling at 6,800 points. Market turnover was 10.75 billion taka, which is a decrease of 6.15% compared to the last trading day. British American Tobacco and Olympic Industries from the Food and Light sector, ICB and Lonka Bangla Finance from the NBFI sector, and United Power and Power Grid from the Power and Fuel sector mainly pulled the market down today. All sectors fell in value today. The general insurance sector posted the highest loss of 2.66% and the NBFI sector posted the second highest loss, which is 2.53%. Five industrial companies, three IT companies and three firma companies were among the top 20 gainers. Shena Kullan Insurance, Golden Sun and Amra Networks registered the highest gain today, while Alif Manufacturing, Pharma Aids and Shepherd Industries were the top losers. Shena Kullan Insurance was the highest gainer as the stock made its debut in the market yesterday. Golden Sun gained in value as investors may be expecting the company to declare a positive earnings growth in its upcoming board meeting. Despite posting a higher quarterly EPS year on year, Shepherd failed to meet investors' expectations. There was no disclosed price sensitive information for other stocks. The trading volume of Golden Sun, NRV Commercial Bank and GenX Infosys increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Investors showed interest in Golden Sun stocks as the company recently declared its rescheduled board meeting date. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. State-run Bangladesh Petroleum Corporation has increased furnace oil and jet fuel prices by 16.98% and 7.79% respectively to keep pace with the skyrocketing global prices. This may result in further inflationary pressure as the country's private sector currently imports 91.43% of its furnace oil to run the nation's power plants. Bus and launch owners decided to halt the transport strike Sunday evening as the government has increased bus and launch fares by 27% and 35.29% respectively. However, truck owners and workers have decided to continue the strike from their end, which may result in an estimated $360 million loss in the apparel sector due to the disruption in supply chain across the country. That's all for today. We will be back again with more updates tomorrow at the same time. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like what you hear, then share this video with your friends, family and loved ones. Also, let us know what type of content you would like to see from us other than the news in the comment section. Thank you.